Hello and welcome to the third episode of Replay Remember Me. Today we will start with Antoine's journal chapter 1. Antoine's journal is an interactive web page and you can exit it with a link in the description. There are several languages available based on your location's IP address. But you can change that by adding the last two letters in the address line and replace it with the usual country code of your preferred language. Antoine's journal is covering several years in the life of Memorize founder Antoine. The journal is divided into five chapters, so the next five episodes will share this as well. In our last episode we met Antoine at the beginning of his adult life in San Francisco and watched him as he gets inspired by different things and events. And Molly of course. We witness the beginning of the sensation engine and the founding of Memorize. With this in mind, we are now ready to follow his path through future history. The following chapter is called The Trigger and covers the years from 2013 to 2016. In 2013, it is safe to say that memories are the last private and intimate pieces of ourselves that haven't been uploaded to social media for others to see. Every day, everything we see, hear, Touch and smell is stored in real time in our brains. Our memories define who we are. In 2084, this final barrier has been brought down by Memorize, a Paris-based corporation and the brain implant known as Sensen. Through the Sensen, Memorize owns the most intimate and personal data of 99% of the population. Citizens are aware of Memorize's control but are willing to accept it because of the pleasure that memory sharing and deletion has to offer. However, there are a small number of activists who choose to fight against Memorize. They are known as Errorists. The year is 1984. This journal plots the birth of Memorize, a company founded on the simple principle of empathy and understanding, whose goal was always to bring people together and bridge the boundaries and differences that language impose on us. In this, the new technology gold rush, information is power. But by putting power in the wrong hands and despite the best intentions, things can go horribly wrong. This is the journal of Antoine Cartier-Wells, hacker, chess player, social entrepreneur and founder of Memorize. You have found it because you use the internet and live in a world where social media sharing and information consumption is a way of life. Welcome to your world. And in the most anticipated rematch in chess history, Deep Blue beat world champion Garry Kasparov three and a half to two and a half. It's 256 processes capable of analyzing over 200 million moves per second. The first adult mammal ever to be successfully cloned. It sparked debates the world over about the top website for 1998. The tiny startup Google has moved to permanent offices in Palo Alto and is currently in advanced talks for a fresh round of So it begins, my adventure to the new world. Perhaps a few hundred years late to be an original explorer. But maybe I can be an explorer 2.0. Promise you'll remember me? Tonight a revelation. Molly took me to see a lecture by Bruce Sterling, the guy who invented spimes. He wrote a great novel with William Gibson called The Difference Engine, about the first computer based on a tech saloon way back in the 19th century. How little distance we have come since. Warp, weft, on and off, one, two, dot, dash. A little note here from my side. Both Bruce Sterling and William Gibson are science fiction writers and were defining the cyberpunk genre. 
Gibson wrote the famous Neuromancer novel and Johnny Mnemonic, which was later adapted as a film as Keanu Reeves. My thoughts turn to work. What is it I came here to do? Not look at silly pictures of people's dogs or kids all the day, that's for sure. But the money is insane. Always the money. What emotional need lies behind the urge to share all these images, all these memories? This desire to share, to communicate, is what interests me. First two months has been my first real holiday for myself. But now it creeps back. The memories, everything I have read or seen, so mixed up. I can tell what was mine or somebody else's stolen dreams and memories that fill me up and drive me crazy. Still, I should be used to this. I find ways of dimming the voices, but there I'm permanent and short-lived, often followed by a cursed hangover. Reread Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon. The world has always craved connectivity. Walls connect as do roads. The first digital connection came underwater in the 19th century when we laid the first telegraphic cabling across the Atlantic. Ones and zeros. The telegraph. Same technology as the apps we use today. The world is covering and cabling, fiber optics, bandwidth. The ownership of this cabling and not the information it carries, is where the money is. <laughs>